Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will talk about Eugene's Trickback Arpeggio. So, uh, thanks a lot for like 250k views, uh, less than two weeks, and uh, I get lots of comments. Thanks a lot for your support. So, uh, I get a lot of questions about this piece, so I would like to answer as much as I can in this video. We have an A harmonic minor piece. So, before further ado, let's harmonize this piece and understand the chords, and then uh, let's talk about all the arpeggios. So first I have... Let's harmonize it. First one is A minor, or and the second one... D diminished, because I have root, flat third, flat five, and then this one I have root third sharp five and then root flat third five D minor E major root third five and root third five again major f major and then root flat third flat five and g sharp diminish and then back to a minor so if you play all the chords like a minor b diminished c augmented d minor e major f major G sharp diminished and back to uh, A minor. So these are the chords. So first we start with the A minor arpeggio. So I picked this position because when I listen it, I couldn't hear like this G string note uh, on the song. And I know uh, in the movie, Ralph Macchio playing like like moving his hands, I mean, not playing actually, so he's doing this, but uh, when I listen it, I don't hear this note, so that's why I play it from. And uh, in the video, I played with alternate picking because it was slow, but yes, you can play with uh, sweep picking, or like economy picking kind of. So downstroke, upstroke, downstroke, downstroke, down, up, down, down. Yeah. So um, that was the first arpeggio, and you can play different positions. So um, you can play this. So I transcribed by ear and the best option was this, like my lesson video, or you can pick this one, because I'm not sure about this note on G, so you can play this one too. So this is more complicated, but this could be your option too. So there are lots of options in the arpeggios. So this was the A minor. The second one. I played like that. And you can if you want, you can play. But I'm sure like this is not on the E string because I hear something like kind of same string notes and on the way back I hear like two notes per string could be two but it's optional so uh, what is that arpeggio this is E7 because I have and you can think like root third 
fifth and flat seven so this is e7 and then we have a7 arpeggio so i think this is like optionally like you can use that note but I hear like this note and again like like two note per string walk and then D minor so I play like that so there are of course options like you can play like that or A open and then this one or like ending like this instead of like this and first we count all the chords but there wasn't e7 so what is that e7 i get that question too so this is the second dominant of d minor so this is the fifth fifth of d and you take like as your dominant chord and this chord leads you to d minor so it adds some tension to your song and then Releases. So if you want to hear the chords, tension and release. So and if you think about the notes, like you have A, C sharp, E, and on D minor you have D, F, A. So C sharp goes to D and your E goes to F A is same and you have like uh, G goes to A flat 7 to A so uh, that's why we have A7 and now we have we have B diminished or you can call G sharp diminished or F diminished because diminished chords like the immersions are the same chord so will be the same so let's hear It should be A. So, and then we have and then we have this G sharp, the seventh degree of our last one. So uh, these are the main questions that I get about the positions. So I transcribe by ear and I try to find the original positions instead of the easier ones. And also I would like that like you can see that uh, diminished chord to most of the classical song or Malmsteen song like... Okay guys, thanks for watching and I think we covered all the RPG stuff in this song. If you have any questions, write down below. You can ask more. So no problem with that. Uh, I will try 
uh, my best to answer your questions and make videos about your questions. I just created my uh, Patreon page. Um, so if you want to get the tabs of my lesson videos on YouTube, so you can check it out because I will upload all my lesson video tabs in Guitar Pro and PDF format. And I am planning to make like weekly lesson videos and like or sharing some tabs, links, uh, PDFs uh, in my Patreon page. So check it out, guys. And I think that's it for this video. And I hope to see you on my upcoming videos. Cheers, guys. Bye.